To the top, we go back with another video. I'm the Strange One. He is Nate. Today, we're going to top five unlikely action heroes. Now, this could either be a casting thing or a dead character in the movie. Perspective is different. Then we are two different people, two different perspectives. Who knows? We might have something in common, might not, but he's going to tell you how our list works. So he's going to start off with his five and four. I'll get my five and four. Three, two, three, two. Then we trade off number ones. We also have something called the Zemeckis rule, which just means if we both have the same movie, but one person has it two spots or higher, we'll save the conversation until we get to it on their list. My number five is going to be Ben Affleck as Batman, because when I think of Ben Affleck, I think of Kevin Smith movies, Good Will Hunting, and because he won the, he got nominated for Oscars for Argo and The Town, I was like, yeah, he's a dramatic actor. And he did Daredevil, which is an action superhero movie. And I was like, well, that movie is. Hot garbage. Still trash. To see him as Batman and to do the Arkham video game type action stuff blew me away. And because of that and his portrayal of Bruce Wayne, because of the dramatic side and the action stuff he does with Batman, he's my favorite Batman of all time. Wow. My number four is Ryan Gosling. Again, another casting thing for me. Because when I saw Ryan Gosling at the time, I was like, oh, remember the Titans? And that Lover movie I hear about, if you're a bird, I'm a bird, type shit. Whatever he was doing in that movie. What's that movie called? The Notebook? The Notebook. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's funny because I got this written down in The Notebook. Not. It's my cell phone. I but <laughs> I had a bull rat clip. It's okay. So to see him in Drive blew me away because I didn't know anything about movies at the time because the only thing I knew about movies and this movie specifically was Watch Mojo videos and it was in a lot of them. So I needed to watch it. So to see him bash people's heads in with a hammer and do all this type of stuff, I was like, baby boy grew up. And it blew me away. Amazing movie as well. Thanks. So my number five is going to be uh, Columbus from... Uh... From Zombieland. Uh, Jesse uh -oh. Eisenberg's character. On my list, I definitely focused more on like the actual characters and themselves over like casting type things. Uh, and yeah, I mean, super unlikely hero, hero, super nerdy guy, uh, is just at home playing some World of Warcraft. Some hot chick comes over. He offers her Mountain Dew Code Red and a coffee mug. Like this is the kind of guy this is, but he learns to survive and he gets the girl and he makes friends and they all make it on to the next movie, which I still haven't seen, but I don't know. So if you want to borrow it. Nice. So that's my number five. Uh, my number four is going to be Bill and Ted. My number three is kind of the best of both worlds because it is a casting thing for for to me it's a casting thing for and foremost but in the film he plays a senator and he doesn't really seem like the action hero type and it's Kelsey Grammer in X-Men 3 The Last Stand because when I saw this movie as a kid I was like I didn't know who Kelsey Grammer was I was like Frazier it don't make no more fucking sense my number two is Eddie Murphy's character in 48 Hours. Again, best of both worlds. Eddie Murphy doing stand-up comedy and being the best stand-up at the time. Coming into this, doing a action comedy keyword. Action comedy. So you get a little bit of best, but he's a criminal. You don't expect a criminal to save the day in most movies. But he teams up with a cop and saves the day. And as Big L once said, there's a new sheriff in town and it ain't Reggie Hammond. But in this case, it is Reggie Hammond because we're talking about 48 hours. And that's his name in the movie, Reggie Hammond. He's a great cop. Not he's a great criminal. But he solves the case. He's impactful. When he does the action stuff, you believe it. There's a scene when he goes into the bar and he says the line, there's a new sheriff in town. And it's totally believable. If I never saw his stand-up comedy, I'd be like, oh, he's, a, he's an action star. But he's not. He was a stand-up. Now he's a regular movie star. And Eddie Murphy is my number two. Nice. Uh, so my number three is going to be Hiccup from the How to Train Your Dragon franchise. Solid. Yeah. Uh, man, uh, DreamWorks made some good movies. And that was surprising to me. Not that they're all bad. I mean, that's fair. And DreamWorks made four really good movies. Yeah. Um, so and three of them are How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, right. Am I lying? Almost in the same lines of, like, almost 
obviously way different, but just like that, you know, super nerdy, seems useless to society, can't fit in. Uh, nobody really likes him that much. Uh, but can, I think can what you blame him? No, I like him because it's like I was joking. he lives in a world where everybody's just like a meathead, brute force fixes everything type world, and instead, like through like through kindness and empathy, which are super underrated qualities in this world. I guess ends up being like the one who just kind of saves everything, right? So, um, yeah. So I think like that's really what kind of put him higher up on the list for me is that like it's not just how unlikely of a hero he is; it's like his methods are also unlikely to bring him to hero ship, herohood. I don't know, but yeah, he's my number three. Uh, my number two is going to be Scott Pilgrim. That's my number one. That's your number one. Yeah. Nice. He's your number one. Go ahead. All right. Because, like I said for the last two, I tried to like have a good mixture of both. And Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is a graphic novel adaptation. And you get action in graphic novels. And who plays Scott Pilgrim? Three words. Michael fucking Sarah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. One more thing. So my number one, duh, it's Luke Skywalker. Like, which A, surprised that Rocky wasn't on your list. And rewind that. <laughs> then we went top five. Unlikely action heroes. Keyword. Action heroes. Stop being stupid. Because the reason why we're doing this, if we didn't say before, is because the film Nobody, which is why it's in the thumbnail. Yeah. Because who would think the fucking lawyer from Better Better Call Saul can like be fucking John Wick 2.0? I'm super excited for that movie. It looks like a great movie. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, when we meet Luke Skywalker, he's just this whiny little farm boy who bitch. wants to go do something else. No, he is. The whiny little bitch. Yeah, in the beginning he is, for sure. Oh, I want to go swap rat hunting. <laughs> That's my impression of Luke Skywalker. <laughs> it sounds a lot like RB3s for some reason. It's interesting. Who? Uh, so... Yeah, when we meet him, he's literally just this lowly little farm boy. And, like, yeah, he does have, like, the lineage that he came from, but there is no necessary, like, uh, for lack of a better word, guiding force that is, like, forcing Luke to become what he is, right? So, like, if you look at Harry Potter, like, it is inevitable that him and Voldemort are going to clash because he's a Horcrux. They have to, right? Uh so Luke has, like, some chosen one qualities to him, but there's still, like, you know, if, if what happened had happened, he probably, he would have fucking got died and burned up with his aunt and uncle <laughs> by the fucking stormtroopers. Yeah. And anybody who gets killed by a stormtrooper is a fucking schmuck. Is this true? Like, that's just facts. So it's like, there's nothing that made it to where he had to get to this point. It was still ultimately, like, luck and circumstance and then ultimately, like, his own personal will and, like, skills that he developed and ultimately becomes the most powerful Jedi and uh, kind of saves everybody. I love Star Wars. No shit. Tell us what's your favorite unlikely action hero. What's your top five? Tell us down below. Are you ready for nobody? A lot of questions. Put them all in the comment section below. Scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video. And subscribe. And then what? All our social medias are right here. They're in the description as well. We also got a Kofi, so make sure to donate to that because... Look at me. I need money. My, my shirts don't got no buttons. I need new sunglasses. This guy, he's worn the shirt 90% of the time in videos because he only owns three shirts. And look, he doesn't even own a razor. Look at that neck beard. What are razors? He'll make Justin Long in the film uh, Good and Die Hard proud because he's a neck beard too. So donate to us, please. He doesn't have a beard in that movie, but you get the point. It's not a game, it's a red stick.